Y'all ready? Yep. Just got to finish the game. I mean, you look at our losses. We're ahead most of the time after the sixth or the seventh inning, so we got to got to find a way to correct that. Obviously, we've won more than we've lost, but that's something that we have to figure out how to be better innings those seven through nine on the mound. I think our defense is improving for the most part. We're not giving too many extra outs, so we'll keep plugging and, and try to improve that. You got you got to give Coastal credit. They they made us pay when we made mistakes, but at the end of the day, when you walk that many guys and give up that many free passes, you're probably not going to win the game. The most disappointing part was at this level, when you score seven runs, you know you should you should be coming out on top. So that's where we got to get. You know, when Poston came in, I'm thinking he might get a yeah, no doubt four out save the way yeah. he's been pitching, but it just did, it just didn't. Yeah, you know, and uh, I thought that was a big pitch that the umpire missed. I have to go back and look. He might not have missed it. Um, so I'm going to fight for our guys. I was honestly surprised that the umpire decided to eject me there, but I was okay with it because. You know, as coaches here, if we are ejected, it's not like we're doing anything the wrong way. You know, I'm going to be professional and talk to the umpire, and I thought it was a strike. But after that, it's over. And, you know, I, I was still in it until Sandy came in, I believe. But Poston's got to step up and not wall that next guy. You know, I tell our guys all the time, it's just like AC to start the inning, out, home run, walk. If he gets that next guy out, I can honestly tell you guys that big inning probably doesn't happen. So, um, I still love Poston. He's been good. You know, he just walked two guys. And we decided to turn that guy around and go to Sandy because he's a better left-handed hitter and it didn't work out in our favor. Just a case of he didn't like you arguing balls and strikes? Yeah. That, 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 that ball and strike. Right, right. I had not argued balls and strikes the whole night. But I argued that one because I thought that was the most pivotal pitch of the game. What a crazy eighth, though. I mean, you were in control, and then, and then you weren't. And you, I mean, if you, can you remember three pitchers coming in and none getting an out in an inning like that? I, mean, I feel like that that opener, like, you know, we had the lead against Seton Hall. We were still trying to figure things out. AC came in and gave it up, I believe. Um, but that hadn't happened to us too often. And, you know, I don't think it's going to happen to us too often. Hopefully we can use it to make us better. And those guys, you have to be able to bounce back. Poston's got to be able to bounce back. Will Sandy just looked, he was lights out. And he didn't get it done. That's part of being a reliever. And you have to have a short memory, and those guys will. They'll get better. Was the dynamic of being a midweek game, did that have something to do with how that no, went, played out? You not know? at all. Mm -mm. Not at all. I mean, they know Coastal's good. Our guys played well, really, except for one inning. I mean, for the most part. And, and when a one inning gets away from you, they score six, right? Eight, eight, eight. eight. I mean, whatever it is, it's a lot of runs. Um, I didn't see the other ones. But, <laughs> uh, you know, it's one inning, and you and you're like, okay, you know, we can, we got to make those adjustments. And at the end of the day, we got to have some guys step up out of the bullpen, and also our starters need to pitch deeper because that affects the bullpen. Um, so I've challenged them to do that, and hopefully we'll do that at Notre Dame because it'll be tough. But uh, he hadn't gone more than four innings all season. Now your starter today, right? So who Patch? Yeah, he yeah. had started all year. Yeah, he was all. I thought he was good. I thought that was a big bright spot. And I told our team that, you know, you always want to point out the positives and Padgett's going to be good. He's, he's a freshman and we wanted to start him to try to save some of our bullpen. We took AC out to keep his pitch count down because we got to have him at Notre Dame. Um, and the other guys didn't, you know, I thought AC pitched good for the most part, gave him a couple home runs, but the rest of the guys just didn't get it done tonight. And, uh, but something, you know, they'll get it done next time. That's your hope. Casey might not be quite as loud out there as some of those other guys in the top of the lineup, but really been kind of quietly putting together a really solid season yes. top to bottom. Yep. Just kind of what have you liked from him, especially the play? Just consistent at bats. Um, you know, he's going to move the ball most of the time. He runs. Uh, he hasn't hit for many home runs, but I think he's going to over his career because he's a strong kid. But he's got those great hands and he's hard to strike out, and you need that, you know, when you got those big boppers ahead of him. Coach, you have a seven-game stint away from home. How is the team yeah. kind of going to learn from this experience they had tonight? Well, you know, you know, I, we, I, I told them to embrace it at Pitt. We got to embrace the fact that you're going to be on the road, and that's a sign of toughness. So I was like, hey, you know, we've lost the majority of our games at home, and there, there can be something. We've had some teams here that are really good on the road, and those teams have been tough teams, and that's what I'm hoping with this team. They go to Pitt. The environment is tough. We find a way to win. We only played one game, obviously. Uh, but we're going to embrace it. You know, we're no, we know it's going to be windy. We know it's going to be cold. And I'm going to challenge the guys. Let's, let's get it done. 
How do you compare this to, the, to some of the bullpen struggles at, at East Carolina? Surprising more. You know, East Carolina's early. Yeah. Um, you know, I just felt like it got away from us because of the free passes and the command of not making the pitches. They did get a couple doubles there, but that was after hit by pitch, two walks, maybe three, somewhere in there. You know, when you do that against a good team, if you do that against us most of the time, I mean, we had three runs a day with no hits. Right, that's what it is. And good teams are going to capitalize. Speaking of that, Coach, you guys didn't get a hit until the Vanderbilt double in the <laughs> yeah. fifth inning. How do you think – the team kind of learned from that to go into those two out rallies in the fifth and the seventh. I mean, the bats were, the outs were loud. You know, we were hitting the ball hard and we didn't have a hit. So I'm like, okay, eventually somebody's going to get one. Um, and we talk about that all the time. You, all you can control is having a good at bat and trying to get your best swing off because you've got defenders out there and you can get jammed and get a base hit or you can hit the ball right to them. You know, they got two runs also on a ball that hit a piece of dirt and bounced to the left with Stokely. And, you know, and sometimes, you know, it's just not your night. Uh, but I didn't really feel like that, and I felt like we just didn't get it done out of the bullpen. Just a coincidence that one of your ejections last year was Coastal? Uh, just a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I really felt like that was a pivotal pitch. You know, that's – the base is loaded. No, first, second, and third were up one. Their best hitter's up. Um, we caught an expanded fastball, and I felt like – and I don't even know. This is me watching from the side. But I felt like that was a really good pitch because Frick doesn't make that, you know, he doesn't show body language like that too often. He thought it was a strike. So I, I fought for our guys because I felt like, hey, that's a pitch. If we get, we might get out of that inning. Um, but we didn't. And, you know, after that, you got to move on. You got you to get the next guys out. Yeah, to Tomas is a pretty cool customer pretty back cool. there. He doesn't, yeah. the, he doesn't. The, the, I guess that tells you everything that how he yeah, reacted yeah. to that as well. Yeah. yeah, I know if he really feels like it's a strike. Um, and, he, he felt like it was a strike, so I'm going to back our guys. I love our team. I love our toughness. We have leadership. Uh, it's a great group, so it's a fun group to go to bat with and a fun group to be here with every day. Thanks, Scott. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks Scott. Thanks, Scott.